The Texas Grow Home Project is a collaborative effort between the State Housing Agency, the financial community, the Texas architects, and other people who are concerned about the plight of low-income people suffering in natural disasters. The goal is to come up with a better solution to being able to help people rebuild their homes after they've been destroyed or suffered major damage from a natural disaster. The current system of disaster housing assistance doesn't work very well for low-income people. The structure of the federal program doesn't provide sufficient resources to help them rebuild. And too often, people are warehoused in temporary housing for protracted periods of time before they are finally turned out onto the street without adequate assistance to be able to recover their homes. The program builds on the idea of the Katrina Cottage, which was advanced in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. The Katrina Cottage was a small structure designed to be built off-site and then moved onto a lot which would allow people an alternative to living in a FEMA trailer as they rebuilt their main house. As the project sponsors of the Texas Grow Home saw it, what needed to be added was an ability to turn that temporary or smaller structure into a permanent housing solution for the low-income family that lives there. Very often, the FEMA trailer or the Katrina cottage was costing $70,000 or more to produce. If a low-income family is to recover, they're going to be greatly aided if we can take that resource and turn it into a permanent house and transfer that money into permanent equity into the home that they end up living in. So we challenged the Texas design community to come up with a modular house It could be built in large quantities away from a disaster area in factories. Houses that could be built very quickly in large numbers and deployed in the wake of a natural disaster which destroyed a large number of homes. These houses would be built initially in a two-bedroom, one-bathroom configuration. A modest size house which might serve the permanent housing needs of an elderly couple or a very small family. But it also has the ability to have a second module added to the house should the need occur either immediately or sometime in the future as the family grows or as family needs change. That second module adds an additional bedroom and bathroom to bring the the house as a whole to a full three-bedroom, two-bath configuration, a traditional size home. The outpouring of support from the architects in Texas for this project has been remarkable. Over 160 teams of architects registered to compete, and we ended up with over 80 designs submitted. All of the homes reflect a concern for energy efficiency, and most of them take into account green building techniques, which use sustainable building products. These four winners will go to formal construction documents, will be modified a little bit to accommodate local needs, and will then be built as prototype homes within the Port Arthur, Beaumont disaster area on the lots of people who lost their homes to Hurricane Rita. The State Housing Finance Agency, the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs, is making interest-free money available so that the cost of these houses will be very affordable to lower-income families who buy the homes. This is just the first step for the Texas Grow Home process. As we move past the design phase and into building the prototypes of the houses, we'll test the effectiveness of these models. We'll learn from this process and come up with new and better designs, incorporating the winning designs and perhaps some ideas submitted by some of the other architects who participated in the program. From there, we'll move to a demonstration process where we will be prepared in the next disaster to quickly deploy a small number of these type of Texas grow homes as opposed to providing FEMA trailers. We'll test this out in a disaster situation and see how well this model works and continue to refine it each step of the way. We hope that through this process the Texas grow home will point out a new direction for national disaster housing assistance and we'll have a new model 
that takes into account the needs of low-income people and helps them make a full recovery after the effects of a natural disaster.